October 31st was the final day of the year for the Celtic people of the North. And that day was called the day of Samhain. And this individual, Wal'iyadu Billah, was supposed to be the, 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 their god of, of, of the spirits of the dead, of evil again. And according to their belief, the evil spirits would rise to the surface and would terrorize people on that evening. And on that evening, if you did something wrong to a person, they'd come back to get you on that night. So some people would put on a disguise so you couldn't recognize them on October 31st, on that evening, and then they would be safe. Also, they would burn fires. Now the only thing we find left of that is the jack-o'-lantern that they were put inside of their window, made from the pumpkin. What actually happened in Europe is that the church moved All Saints Day, a day for the saints. They moved it from May 13th to November 1st in 1834 AD. And so what they said was that the 31st night is All Hallows Evening. All Hallows Evening, which in America later became known as Halloween. Halloween. And they depict the forces of evil. What is happening now is that the children put on disguises. They dress as little devils, little witches as goblins, vampires, anything evil and they go out and now with the new American way they do trick-or-treat and they come to your house asking for food and some Muslims they send their little children um, and they're in little disguises how are you gonna dress and go out there as little devils little shayateen and so to send a Muslim child out to trick-or-treat is a demeaning lowering thing you ask them to beg people for food then they're dressed up in, a, in, in, in as a way that they're not then, when the candies and, and things come in the bag, how do you know what it is they actually gave you? Is it halal? Most of the candies today are made with gelatin, with glycerin. They're made with pork products. And what is also happening is that there are some evil, wicked-minded people who are attacking children on that night. And there are literally groups of Satanists who are capturing children sacrificing the child on that evening of Samhain supposedly to get more spiritual power. It's happening right now. And so from so many angles, Muslims should have nothing to do with Halloween. And it is important for Muslims to have basira, that they should have the insight to look through affairs and do not just blindly follow. The Prophet peace be upon him said, you will follow them. You will follow the people who came before you inch by inch, foot by foot. Even if they crawl into the hole of a lizard, you crawl inside there with them. And then they said, who are these people? Are they the Christians and the Jews? And the Prophet peace be upon him said, who else? And so it has come to pass. And you can't Islamicize these occasions. You can't use Arabic names and Islamic symbols to make it halal. And secondly, it is important for Muslims to cherish their own holidays. When the Eid al-Fitr comes, take the day off. There are some Muslims who go to work on Eid. They go to Eid prayer and they go to work. So what happens to your children? They don't have a chance to, to, to relax and enjoy themselves. Organize an activity, bring the families together, eat together, do things together. Remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala together. Make it a happy occasion for them. They will remember their Eids. Eid al-Fitr, Eid al-Adha. If they don't, then they get involved in Christmas, in Easter, in Halloween, where even in the Christian tradition now, it is confusing. And many of the Christians now, Seventh-day Adventists, Jehovah's Witnesses, and many people are taking a stand. And they're saying, we do not want to follow the pagan religion. ثلاثة بثلاثة